everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today's Quick Tip Thursday session is on how to create a soft grunge effect in the new Topaz texture effects. If you've ever wondered how to get that really soft, organic, and just kind of touchable effect on your image that's quite popular these days, Topaz texture effects can make this very simple for you. It can be a one-click effect or give you the ability to very quickly create your own soft grunge effect. And that's what we're going to be looking at here today. For a text, for a soft grunge effect, it's very, very easily achievable within texture effects. We even have a collection of effects called soft grunge. It's a very popular effect that's out there right now. Um, so we wanted to really give you the opportunity to come in and just use this one click preset and get get and have a nice place to get started. So I like to just come into this particular collection and scroll through and see which effect is going to be best on my image. I'm liking a lot of these. Ooh, I'm liking that morning light quite a bit for this wedding dress. Yes, very nice. Let's click into here. And you might not even see the soft grunginess on your screen, so let me go ahead and go to 100% so you really start to see it. It's not only a tone and a lighting and some basic adjustments, but it's also an addition of texture, some beautiful light leaks coming in. You can really see the texture coming through um, where my uh, panning mouse is over here on the left-hand side of the image and, and really see that kind of organic feel come through. <clears throat> now at this point, you can come in and just tweak things if you want to change the texture and see what different types of textures will look like. You can quickly just open up that texture uh, adjustment and start scrolling over different ones. Within our texture, we also have a category called soft grunge, which will pull up our soft grunge textures, which aren't going to be too gritty or too harsh on your image. They're just going to really add a nice organic touch to it. And then you can go in and um, tweak it just a bit. Let's go ahead and start fresh though and go through the process of actually creating a soft grunge effect. <clears throat> For me what I like to do is start off with a basic adjustment. I find that a lot of soft grunge effects have a little bit of a muted color palette so I usually come in and immediately get my saturation levels, take that down just a touch. Let's go to fit so you'll see the entire image. Maybe take my brightness up open up those shadows a bit. I really don't want it too contrasty, so I'm going to leave my shadows where they are and see what happens if I increase my highlights. Kind of like that. I start to see some of the light coming through the back of or the sleeves of her dress here, so that's really nice. I think I'm going to go a little bit more of a color temperature of warm just to just a touch. So we did that to 0.01 and I'm going to leave it right there. So very quickly I was able to work on just those basic adjustments, muting my color palette down just a touch, taking that saturation. This will really allow me to come in and tone it exactly the way I like, which is really important for me when it comes to soft grunge effects that I create. Next up for me would be to jump right on into the texture. The texture is going to be the core um, way of getting these kind of soft, grungy um, effects and organic effects. So I can go directly there and just start seeing um, how the texture is going to apply to my image. I am going to go into the soft grunge category. When you open up the texture adjustment, you're going to see that it's all, it's in blending mode, so everything's going to look a little bit hazy. One thing I like to do is to take the opacity up just a touch, maybe put it on a, or, or scroll over, select a texture that is kind of inspiring me, and then go into my blending modes immediately and start seeing which blending mode I'm going to want to uh, choose, and then I can move forward with my texture selection as well. For this one I'm going to, I think we'll go with a soft light blend mode. This is going to allow my shadows and highlights still to have a nice amount of contrast. This is one of the contrast blend modes, but I can still see that texture come through. It's not going to be as much of a toning effect as some of those other blend modes, but the texture itself will come through. I'm going to take this opacity up 
<clears throat> and I'm wanting a little bit more texture to come through. It's pretty soft over here on this left-hand side. So I'm going to take this detail slider and just move that to the right, really pull out some of that detail within the texture itself, and you really start to see that come through. Now that I have... Um, Kind of the detail and the opacity where I want. I'm going to try a couple other textures and see if something else inspires me. Let's go back to fit. Just checking out some of these really quickly. It's very easy within texture effects just to see and view, preview all of these different textures quickly to see which one you're going to like the most. I think I'm going to stay where I am actually. Let's try one more. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to click on this top left one and stay there. And I am going to take some of my detail out because this is a little bit heavier detail. <clears throat> I have a nice pink tone within that texture up here on the left, and I can really have that come out by increasing my saturation, which is pretty nice, but. If I want to add my own color in, which I do, maybe a little bit of pink versus that peach, I'm going to take my color over to the pink and magenta area and increase my color strength, and you'll really start to see some of that um, magenta tone coming through on the edges of the texture. Now that we've added our texture, we can continue with this soft grunge effect. Usually soft grunge effects or even harsher grunge effects somehow, sometimes have really beautiful lighting coming in, a little bit uh, more dramatic lighting. So I like to go into my light leaks and just check it out and see if I have um, something that applies really well to the image, especially a diffused effect, which is going to be very soft lighting effects that come in. So it's not going to be super harsh or dynamic on your image, but you can really play around with um, the light. I really like this uh, light leak that is coming in from the top. I'm going to take that opacity up. By default, we are in a screen blend mode, which is going to be perfect for that black background that most of these light leaks are placed upon. So I'm going to leave it right there. I really like the, the feeling of the light, but I don't like the color of the light. So I'm going to take my saturation all the way down and choose the color that I want it to be. I think we'll go with more of an orangey color and then take that color strength up. And you'll see that that light leak, instead of being blue, is now orange. Let me show you that before and after. Here's before and after. So we're on our way to doing a nice, soft, warm grunge effect. Next. I would work on toning my image a little bit further, and I can do that in a couple different ways within uh, texture effects. I can do a split tone, which is going to be a more traditional duo tone that applies one tone to your highlights and one tone to your shadows. You can quickly do that here, but I think I'm going to go to a color overlay mode to work with toning. When you apply a solid color to your image in different blending modes, you have some amazing um, toning effects that might come through. So if you know the color that you might be after, which I want to go with um, maybe kind of a little peachy color, but not that strong, maybe a little bit more. Well, I actually, I'm liking this pink. I'm going to go with pink. I'm going to say OK. When you choose your color, you can then come into your blend mode and see how it's going to affect your image. You can change the opacity. Really here, I just look for something that starts to inspire me. I'm going to, before I change the blending mode, take that opacity up and see what happens now. Oh, much better. That's pretty. Okay, I like this color burn effect that's coming through. So I'm going to click on the color burn blending mode and see what happens when I increase my opacity or decrease. I'm liking it at about 50%. I'll leave it there. The last effect that I, or adjustment that I think you should know about for these soft grunge effects is going to be the edge blur. 
adjustment. Edge Blur will quickly come in and allow you to um, put a beautiful soft edge to your whole image. It gives you a center point that you can select and shape. So I'm just going to click on that blur shape and come to the on-screen manipulation tool here, place it, the center point directly on the bouquet of my bride, shape it a little bit, so a little bit more narrow unclick the blur shape and now I can add more blur if I want or less. One thing that you might notice is we just added edge blur after this texture. That means the blur is now affecting the texture as well. So if I want the texture on top of the blur, so that texture to really come through but the underlying image to seem blurred on the edge, it's very easy to do so within texture effects. Just grab that texture module and move it down below the edge blur, let's say yes, and you'll see that texture now comes through the blur because it's placed after in our adjustment stack. And the blur still happens on everything above, just not on that texture layer. So let's scroll out and see where we are at. Lovely, I'm enjoying it. The last thing that I um, am going to continue to suggest that people do within creating any type of an effect within texture effects is ending with a basic adjustment as well. When you end with a basic adjustment, you can go back in and just tweak the uh, tone and contrast that might have been adjusted a little bit with all of these overlay layers or overlay adjustments. So I'm going to take my brightness up just a little bit and increase my shadows by taking my shadow slider down. I'll leave my highlights where they are. Going to take out just a touch of saturation. Maybe add in just a little bit of clarity. And here's another example where I really like the basic adjustment on the flowers and things like that, but what it did to the texture itself is not very soft. It's starting to make it a little bit more of a harsh grunge effect. So I am going to move this basic adjustment just above the texture. And now the basic adjustment is affecting everything but my texture. Perfect. Let's scroll out. Here is before. And after, here's how I would create a soft grunge effect. I hope this gave you some insight into a workflow that can give you these more organic, soft, and touchable type of effects that have a lot of texture to them but still softness. Thanks, everybody.